Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. Well, I want to tell you the story of a tiny lure, a tiny lure that could. And now I'm going to go back to my own experience just a few days ago. I was fishing in the Grass River and we know that the Grass River and and I will and I will honestly tell you some of our other tributaries are every bit as good or even better for musky fishing. But the Grass River's become famous. And so I'm fishing in a stretch of shallow water where I can easily wade and I'm using all kinds of different lures and we know there's lots of bass. I'm hoping to catch a walleye, but I haven't been able to find the walleyes like I used to because the river's changed a bit. And the structure that held the walleyes no longer is holding the walleyes, or maybe the structure's gone. Maybe it was a tree that had fallen into the water that served as a home, whatever it was. But that's for another report. But I will tell you that I was in a stretch of river and I was throwing a frog, uh, not a live frog, a soft plastic frog, because I thought the paddle tails at the back would cause a commotion and really stir some interest in the fish that were there. So I'm throwing this frog out, and it's a good-sized frog, and I see a weight coming behind it. But the fish won't strike. So then I try some other lures. I try some spinner baits and some soft plastic baits, and I caught a number of smallmouth bass, but no musky, nothing. So then I'm thinking, okay, I've got these new baits. They're made by Guggen, and they're the new rage that's out there of using micro, they call them micro baits. They're micro small. But we know that fish, especially in these tributaries, eat lots of small food because it's prevalent in these waters. They'll eat little crustaceans and little bugs and so forth. So I put on this little bitty Guggen bait. No more. I don't think it's two inches long, maybe an inch and three quarters. And it was pink and black. And it was supposed to look like a little tiny fish. Throw the same bait out there where I'd thrown frogs and spinner baits and paddle tails. And I get an instant strike. And I'm thinking, wow, this must be a really big bass that hit this lure. And before I can even think much more about it, out comes this long skinny fish jumping out of the water, whirling itself into the air. And I've got a muskie on the tiniest little bait that I offered. So what does it tell you? I I really don't know exactly other than you can catch some really big fish with really little lures, or maybe let's take it another degree. You can fool fish sometimes with these big, ominous-looking lures, but in this case, this tiny little bait, this little pink and black bait, was the one lure that fooled the mighty muskie. And boy, I'll tell you what, that was a joyful experience for me. Fortunately, it didn't bite off my leader. Fortunately, that little bitty bait didn't go down in his stomach because heaven forbid sticking your hand down inside a muskie's jaw. It was just hooked on the corner of its mouth. I was able to get it out. The fish swam away healthy and happy. And we'll live to, to battle another time. But the, but the story really is that you can use tiny little baits and you can catch great big fish. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.